Hey guys, so I'm here today to film um, a hair extension video. I have had hair extensions once before. I got tape and extensions back in September of 2018. Had them in till about early April of, or sorry, late April of 2018. And then I kind of let my hair have a break for May and June because I was getting my hair redone in uh, early July. I basically just got um, highlights all over and then I also got low lights all over because my roots were so bad I hadn't done them for like a year and as you can see I have really dark brown roots so she did low lights to kind of help blend so there'd be no banding so I left them out because I was waiting for my hair appointment and then once I got it back once I got my hair done I was like do I want extensions again I don't know maybe I'll just live with like my short hair it had grown out originally I had gotten extensions because a hairdresser had fried off my hair um, I did a video about when I took my extensions out, so I will link, link that up here or down below, or I'll forget, whichever. So these pieces, these top layers of my hair that are this long now, were originally up here. So they grew out a lot, so my hair was actually a one solid length again. But I also decided to grow my undercut in November, and I did an undercut update video in, I think it was like May... Um, probably right after I took my extensions out so that you guys could see how my undercut had grown out and so I was like I'm growing out my undercut I hate it I miss my long hair bucket I just want to get extensions again I had weighed the options of getting NBR extensions which are like the beaded rows um, that are just like a giant weft sewn into your hair but it's more expensive because most I couldn't find any like at home extension people that do them it was mostly just salons and obviously salons are more expensive you have to pay taxes etc so i just went with tapins again so this video is just kind of talking about tapins kind of my experience now that i'm more knowledgeable about hair extensions i can kind of give some tips and tricks about when they're first input um how i put them in to hide my undercut and also so that i could do a updo still so if you want to see all this shit about hair extensions keep watching also subscribe to my channel I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and you stick around because I'm awesome uh, so I decided to get tapins again and because um, I had had my hair dyed since the last time I had tapins I needed new hair extensions also with hair extensions they only last I would say like you keep them when you get them put in your hair they get them taped kind of up to the root um, and you have to move them up again after about eight to ten weeks. I think it's six to eight weeks, but like I've pushed it to ten before. When you get to ten, they start flipping and it's fucking annoying. Um, so probably like eight to nine weeks is when I would say it's ideal to get them moved up. Also, my hair grows really fast, so it might be longer for other people, but that's the gist of it. So, and then every eight weeks you get them moved up. So that's like one use and they last about three to four uses. I think I had mine in three times. Um, during September to April and I probably could have gotten another time but because blonde hair is chemically treated it does break off at the ends more and we had cut it a little bit when we first put them in so that they didn't look at too long because here's the thing I know that everyone wants to get extensions in and they just want to get the super long ones but if your original hair is really short it just looks fake so they say not they say not to go any more than like double the length of your hair so if your hair is only 10 inches long you could only go 20 inches long, etc. So we had cut them so they looked more natural. And I did find that the, like, after, like, when we put them, put them in the first time, I was like, well, they're a little long. They were, like, 19 inches. And then the second time we cut them a little bit shorter, they looked so much more natural. Like, they were, like, my actual hair. Um, and then we, I think the third time we didn't trim them. But, again, there's just, like, some breakage and stuff. And, like, maybe I didn't take care of them as well as I should have. I don't fucking know. But they had basically become just a little bit, and my, my hair had grown also. So they had become, like, a little bit longer than my hair. Uh, and we're like more so for volume and like I liked the way they were in but like I wanted 20 inch tresses again So and also I had dyed my hair so the color and toned my hair because those extensions were like bright blonde Can you hear my cat digging in her litter box in here? They don't even go to the bathroom. They just dig they're monsters So um yeah, I had dyed my hair and so I needed new extensions anyway. So basically I just texted my extension girl and was like, hey, I want 20 inches again. I want tapins. This is what my new hair color looks like. And she was like, okay, cool. So I made an appointment to get them put in. Uh, she charges $200 for the hair, $200 for application. Um, and she had, she's blended, I think three different colors of hair for me. So I'm going to try to find the different colors for you. Pray for me. 
Let's go. Hold on, there's one up here. So you've got this kind of, um, this blonde that has kind of some red tones to it. It's a little bit more of like a strawberry blonde, which works with my hair and actually pulls red anyways. Then you have, this color is definitely more of like a platinum blonde at the ends. Um, and there's a darker blonde in there. So it's too hard to fucking find all the different colors. They blend together so well. But the point is she blended four, three different colors together. Um, like a dark ashy blonde, a more bright blonde, and then a red toned blonde to just kind of blend together all of my highlights and the tones in my hair. And I think it looks really natural. I find that in indoor lighting, it doesn't look as natural. Like when I'm inside, I was like, does this match and like in this room i'm like because i have green walls also it doesn't help it bounces off my natural hair and makes it look more green but when i'm outside in the world i'm like oh that looks beautiful so it is what it is um so i got 20 inches put in my hair we did a full head of tape ins and because my undercut is so long i'm just gonna show you kind of this is how long my undercut is so we are getting real long so because my undercut is so long i was like listen I really can't wear my hair up right now because my undercut's so long. I was putting my undercut in like a tiny baby ponytail and then making doing a low ponytail around it, but like I kind of hate a low ponytail if I'm being honest. So I was like, I can't put my hair like up, up. There's just nothing to do with my undercut. It's too short right now. And it's in this weird awkward length where like it's a fucking disaster. So I was like, what I've been doing is doing a half up. So is there a way we can put my extensions in so that I can still do a half up while, um, you know, having extensions. And she was like, yeah, it's fine. She, so she decided to put extensions in my undercut. So she started like one inch from the base, like she would with normal hair and put them all in my undercut and then throughout the back of my hair. And she left about two inches right here where there's no extensions. And then my extensions at the top, um, my top extension is right here. So it's actually pretty low down which I personally like because I have shorter layers on the top. So I used to think when before when it was higher, I kind of, you would, sometimes my husband would be like, um, I can see a tape in. And I have to be like, oh, ooh, am I good? Am I good? And he'd be like, yeah, you're good. So I'd have to like flat iron that section over the top tape in. So I kind of like having them a little bit lower. Again, the only reason that was, was before was because I had my undercut in. So we had to kind of keep all my extensions right here. Um, and I have really thick hair, so she said it was really easy for her to kind of maneuver the extensions around. So first I'm going to show you what my undercut looks like. I'm going to try to part my hair where I think my undercut is. <laughs> and you're going to laugh at me. I'm just going to kind of, we're just going to pin this up. So these are, this is like my real hair and my extensions, I think. And I think, hold on. Oh no, hold on. We've got one row of real hair. Okay. Okay, so this is what my undercut looks like with my extensions in it. Excuse me, I'm Joe Dirt at this point. Um, so she put extensions in my undercut and it looks absolutely atrocious. If I pull all of my hair up, as you can see, I have this lovely bottom part and I also have some that like stick out from the sides here and here. Um, so that is how we put extensions in my undercut. It's not ideal. It's not cute, but, and I was talking to my best friend about it and she was like, well, can't she just put extensions all along the bottom so you can pull your hair up? But the issue is because the hair is so short, pieces will stick out all over the place. So it will not look cute no matter what. And the way extensions work is you don't just do a full strip of them. You kind of brick lay them with sections in between so that they feel more natural and look more natural in your hair and so that your natural hair is peeking through. So it wouldn't pull all of my undercut up because what she was thinking was if I just did the base, then I could pull it all up and just put like a hair scarf on or something and be able to cover it. But I don't think that would work because there would still be pieces um, poking out. And when I did try to do that, I pulled all my hair up and I just kind of tied up the bottom part. It just looked ridiculous. So I would need a hair scarf that like is this thick and just kind of covers the whole back of my head. I'm looking at trying that, but I just don't think it's going to be something I'm going to like. So what we did was this, I have one row. So this is where my extensions start on this side. I have one row of two extensions here. Um, I did get them put in probably two weeks ago. So they're a little bit grown out right now, but 
I wanted to show it to you after I'd washed it a couple times because one other thing I want to mention is when you first get your extensions put in, they will feel thin. And also, again, if you get them done way longer than your actual hair is, they will feel thin. Like I got the, she, I left the 20 inches at 20 inches and I do think it's a little long, but I left it this long because of breakage and because I didn't want to have to cut it shorter, even more shorter the second time. So I left it this long and I do think it's, let me kind of just move back so you guys can see. I do think it looks a little bit long, a little bit too thin on the ends, but that's also just personal preference, I think. Um, but yeah, so when you first get them in, you'll feel like they're thin. I thought they were thin, especially if they apply it right out of the package. Some salons will pre-wash the extensions for you. And what happens is because when they're at a factory, they're manufactured, they're kind of sealed into the packaging, they get like flat. So they really fluff up after you wash them. And after the first few times you wash them, they really fluff up. Like the first few times I wash my hair when I have extensions in, I make sure to take shampoo and just kind of like really rub it through the extensions so that they kind of, you know, get any of that chemicals and stuff out of it. Because like, yes, it's real human hair. This is European rummy hair. But at the same time, it's also been chemically processed and some of that chemical is still in there. So you need to kind of just like scrub it out and then they really fluff up. Like also right now they're just kind of, like if I brush them, you can see how fluffy they really are. I just think they're really fucking cute and I love them. So yeah. Um, so yeah, like they don't look, they look, I think they look a little thin to me because they're a little bit too long. The longer they are, obviously you're going to have more volume at the top than you do at the bottom. And that's going to cause a little bit of difference. But like, I'm also a picky ass bitch. So like I said, my extensions start... Right here, I have two rows on the side of my head. Um, and then underneath those extensions, if I pull them up, there's no other extensions until, where are they? About here is where they are. So, yeah. So these are my next row of extensions. So as you can see, I have all of this hair in between my rows of extensions on the side, which helps to, cause then I can kind of just split it in the middle. The bottom part covers the bottom extension. The top part covers the top extension. And then I can have a half up do. Same thing on the other side. So basically if I just kind of do one of these. So as you can see on this side, I have, you really can't see the extensions on this side. On this side, same thing. You can't see the extensions. And then I can just do a little half updo and we're cute. Other than that, really all I can do to keep my hair up is uh, a low ponytail. I've had a couple other, I've had a couple other things in my hair. I am gonna film a video that's kind of like how I style my extensions to cover my undercut. So that will be coming soon. I'm just kind of working out, basically trying to figure out how hair scarves work best for me. But I, love extensions. I totally recommend tape and extensions. They're just like so comfortable. Also, when you first get them, your head feels kind of like, like, you know, when you have your hair in a ponytail all day and your hair, your hair hurts, it kind of feels like that for like the first day. Uh, you can't wash them for the first 48 hours and you do have to brush your extensions every day. So I've heard some people be like, you have to brush your extensions like four to five times a day. I brush mine like twice a day at least. And then sometimes I'll brush them a couple more times in between that. In the winter, I brush them more because in the winter, I don't know what it is, if it's like the dry air or static electricity or something, but I get like a knot in the back of my hair. And that's just my personal hair has always been like that. So just with more hair with extensions, that just happens more. So that is my extensions. I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about. Again, I will be filming a video kind of about how I style them, but I do have a video about how I wash and style my extensions already. So I will link that up here or down below. Um, I think it's helpful to kind of see how to shampoo your extensions. In that video, I have my undercut still, so but I still cut my hair in half and do half of my hair and then the other half to shampoo because I find that if I just try to shampoo my hair when it's all down, it's just there's too much hair and I can't really get into the base of my hair to shampoo it. So I do split it and do the top half and the bottom half just so that I can really get in between those tapes and really scrub because I find that when my hair gets really dirty, it gets like itchy and if I don't get the dirt out, it just is, it's itchy. So yeah, I think everyone should get tape and extensions personally. 
Um, they're a little expensive. If you, like, I would say, like, don't go to a salon. Like, my girl does it out of her house, so it's cheaper. Um, I really did want to try NBRs, but it just kind of came down to, like, we were on vacation. We were going on vacation and doing stuff and spending so much money on vacation and stuff that I was just like, I can't justify spending more money on extensions when I know I can get nearly the same thing for cheaper. I did want to try the NBRs, but, like, it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, this is my hair. Um, I will insert... A clip somewhere of what the back of it looks like so that you can kind of see it all together I mean I guess you kind of saw it already but like I want to get a good shot of it um so yeah I love my tape and extensions let me know if there's any questions down below you guys want to know about tape and extensions and I'll try to answer them either below or I'll answer them in my next video about how I style them because I feel like a lot of the tape and extension videos that are on YouTube are pretty like here's me getting tape and extensions and then they just like move along and like Watching someone get them put in is not helpful because like I'm not gonna do it myself I want to know all the stuff what it's like like living with tape and extensions um, I personally in order to hold my curls and um, I don't know make my hair look cute again in the morning. This is what I do. I flip my hair upside down I pull it all up into a ponytail. Yes, these little undercut pieces are still hanging down. I can't help it. And then I put it up in, do I even have a hair elastic in here? Oh, I have this one. I do this. You know, like the classic kind of basic girl bun, this one? This with one of these kind of slinky hair ties is the perfect, <laughs> I look like a crazy person, is the perfect way to sleep with your hair up. I don't know what it is, but these are kink proof. I find that these really thin ones kind of suck and aren't kink proof, but they hold, they keep my curls and my hair intact. It's probably not the best thing to do to sleep with your hair up. Most hair tension people will tell you to sleep with it in like a low pony or like a low braid, but I find if I do that, my curls are just like completely gone. Like we were on vacation, we went to Montreal and I had a nap in the middle of the day and I didn't put my hair up and when I woke up, my curls were just dead and I was like, I spent like an hour doing this this morning, what the fuck? So I would definitely say I sleep with my hair up in a bun like that. It probably causes some breakage, but it holds my hairstyle for like an entire week. Like I did these curls yesterday morning, have not touched them up. All I did was kind of, it, this, this hair elastic in general creates major bumps in my hair, like just like kinks like around this part of this crown of my hair. So I just kind of went through the top layer and straightened out those kinks and that was all I had to do. The rest of my hair maintained it. I put a little bit of oil in it and I was fucking done. So that's how I keep my hair kind of maintained. So I've been blabbling about nothing for 20 minutes. So I'm going to shut up now. Again, let me know down below if you guys have any questions. If you're thinking about getting tape-ins, let me know. Your girl loves a hair extension and I just want my hair to be long again. I just want my undercut to grow out so that like I can have regular hair again. And like maybe put it in a fucking ponytail. That's all I want with my life, truly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!